The unit is supplied with two fuses to be connected on supply one and supply two active lines. Insert the DIN rail retainer clips into the rear of the unit. They'll only go one direction. Using a flat blade screwdriver, push the head into the rectangular hole, then insert the wire into the round hole. Do not twist the wires or use a ferrule. Power up the unit. After 5 seconds, the output will be live if the input voltage is within specified tolerance. Power up the second supply. The supply to indicator should turn from red to green if the input voltage is within the specified tolerance. The two right hand indicators show the supply the unit is currently on. Pressing the preferred supply button will switch between no preferred supply which is the default, supply 1 preferred, and supply 2 preferred. After a few seconds, if the preferred supply is changed from the current supply, the unit will execute a transfer. On the oscilloscope, you will see a small break in the sine wave where the transfer between supplies has taken place. Removing the power from the current supply will cause the unit to transfer to the alternate supply and trigger an alarm event. After putting one supply 180 degrees out of phase from the other, the unit will still transfer on fail, however, with a slightly longer break as seen on the oscilloscope. Reverting the supplies back in phase will take the unit out of alarm. The alarm can be acknowledged by pressing the left hand button. Increasing the load will cause more current indicator LEDs to come on. If slightly more current is flowing than the rating of the unit, it will be indicated by an amber lead, and then a red lead if more than two amps above the rating is flowing. This is a supply transfer waveform. Note the length of the break. This is a supply fail waveform. Note the longer break.
This is an outer phase failure waveform, not the longer break and phase change. Thank you for watching.